we journey in the call to worship. Earth to earth. Asher to heaven. From dust we were created. And to dust we shall return. From the dust and the ashes of our lives. Create again, O oh Lord. Create in us clean hearts, O oh God. And, and renew, renew your free spirit within, within us. Let us pray together. Merciful God, God, you pardon all who truly repent and turn to you. you. Hear us now, now as we confess, confess our sins and ask your mercy. We, we have not loved you with a pure heart, nor have we loved our neighbor as ourselves. We have not done justice, loved kindness, or walked humbly with you, our God. Have mercy on us, O God, in your loving kindness. In your great compassion, cleanse us from our sin. Create in us a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. Do not cast us from your presence, or take your Holy Spirit from us. Restore to us the joy of your salvation, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Hear these words of assurance. In the cross we see God's amazing love for us. In abundant grace, God answers our doubt, heals our pain, and forgives our failures. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are forgiven and made new. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are, we are forgiven and, and set, set free. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel, chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, and 12 through 17. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. It is near, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Like blackness spread upon the mountains, a great and powerful army comes. Their like has never been from of old, nor will be again after them in ages to come. Yet even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. Rend your hearts and not your clothing. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and relents from punishing. Who knows whether he will not turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the aged, gather the children, even infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her canopy. Between the vestibule and the altar, let the priests the ministers of the Lord weep. Let them say, Spare your people, O Lord, and do not make your heritage a mockery, a byword among the nations. For why should it be said among the peoples, Where is their God? This ends our first reading.
from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 1 through 6 and 16 through 21. Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them. For then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you as hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust consume, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. reading from Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless when you pass judgment. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner when my mother conceived me. You desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me.
most merciful God. Bless by your Holy Spirit these ashes, dusky, dusky creature of earth and fire. May all who receive them and all who look upon them this day be moved to conversion and newness of life. May they be no empty sign, no prideful display, but by your grace may all who wear them witness in bold speech and loving act to what they signify. Your steadfast love for mortal flesh, your will to heal, the rich green life you bring from death. Praise to you, Holy One. In life, in death, we belong to you. Amen. From dust we have come, from dust we shall return. Turn away from your sins and believe the good news of God's forgiveness and unfailing love. Amen. Amen.